Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at, well, we're going to play through a few rounds of Fresco, the dice game. We'll do the card game later, but this is the dice game. If you want to see our full review, you can click the link in the video description. Otherwise, stick around here, and we'll get playing. Alright, so, I have this set up for two players. Setup is pretty simple. You're going to put this board out in the middle of the table. You're going to give each player a player board, three of these little betting tokens in their color. Take all the dice off to the side, a bishop token. You're going to sort out all the portraits by player count, and you're going to use the two highest values of all of these uh, fresco pieces and stack them on the appropriate spaces. Okay, that's it. Randomly give somebody the first player, and we're ready to go. And this marker can just be off to the side because nobody has it yet. Okay, so this player's first. On your turn, what you're going to do is you're going to take this bishop marker. And you're going to put it on one of these five spaces. You're trying to paint your fresco, okay? And in order to do that, you need to roll dice equaling that exact value, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and start with the center of my fresco. And then every other player can decide they can bet. And they have three options when betting. They can bet that you're going to paint a portrait, which I'll talk about later that you're going to successfully paint your fresco or you're not going to paint your fresco. If they decide before your first roll that, and they're right, they get three points, two points for the second roll, one point for third roll. And I think they're going to just go ahead and do it. I always bet on the first roll because it's worth most points. So you might as well do it. So there you go. All right. So now I'm going to roll the dice. When you roll the dice, you're going to have to lock one color. Okay. If you lock a color and you also roll the color die, so say I locked this one and I rolled a color die, I effectively now have six. This is gonna double. If this one was purple as well, it would triple it, the value, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So I need to get 24, so I'm gonna take this six. Lock that there, okay. Three rolls. Okay, here's 12, six, 12, 18. So I need one more six. And I did not get six, so I will do this four. So I have six plus 12, which is 18, plus four, which is 22. I did not get my fresco, so they're gonna flip. They said that I will not get a fresco, so I did not. Um, so they're going to get three points. And then, but I did get a portrait, and I'm gonna take this top portrait here, because I had to get 20 through 23. And I got that portrait because I had 22. So I take the portrait, put it right here, and I score a point. And that is a male portrait. If you get a set of male and female at the end of the game, you get to score all of your portraits again. Okay? So now other players turn. So now yellow is going to play. So they'll put their bidding token away. And done. All right. Oh, I guess they can't roll yet. They got to decide what they're going to go for. Now they're going to go for this one. So they're going to try to get eight points, eight value. And I think I'm going to go ahead and say that they're going to paint a portrait. They don't know that, but that's what I'm picking. All right, then they roll. So they need eight. All right, so they'll do the three red. Two orange, that's five. Now I need three. And we got it. All right. So they got eight. They rolled exactly eight. So they get this this thing, which is worth six points. So they're now at nine. And I said they were going to paint a painting. They did not. So I don't get any points. But they're going to put the fresco on their board. All right. Done. Now, what we're going to do, first mark player is going to shift. Whoever's in last, which is blue, gets this plus one token to help in the journey to get it's going to add one or minus one to the total okay so i need to catch up so let's go i'm going to go back to the center and they're going to say they're going to say i want to do a painting i don't know that but that's what they're, they're saying all right so i need six so there's six oh man come on I need six. All right, come on. Last shot. I need a six and a color. Nope. 
All right, so I got, I can get 18. All right, so I got 18, so I'll take another painting. So that gets me two points. And they said, I'm painting a painting, a portrait, so they get three points. All right, add to my total of one, doesn't matter because I don't want to one. So there we go. All right, so now it's Yellow's turn. Yellow wants to keep, they're gonna keep on trucking. They're gonna go here. They're gonna need 13 and I'm gonna say they're gonna paint a portrait. Again, they don't know that. Okay, so they need 13. So let's do four. That might not have been smart, but that's okay. And then we'll do six. So that's 10. Now I need a three. And we got a three. All right, so I, yellow's got 13. They get five points. One, two, three, four, five. They get this. Put that there. And I said they were painting a portrait. They did not, so I don't get anything done. Now I'm first player. I'm still in the last, so there you go. And that's how the game's going to keep progressing until someone either has five portraits or someone has finished their fresco. Once somebody meets that criteria, they get to take one of the portraits from the face-up display and score those points. Then you're going to add up your points, starting with whoever's in first. You would get, you'd look at your marriages. This isn't a marriage, but, you know, if I had a female and a male, I would get extra points. And then starting with player who's not in first, they would do their points. And whoever has the most points after all that is said and done is the winner. All right. So that is how you play Fresco the Dice Game. Again, if you want to see our full review, you can click the link in the video description. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And as always, keep gaming. Thank you.